Well, it's Friday, and I think I did a last jog vlog last Friday and planned on doing maybe one a week. So I didn't uh, actually vlog during the jog, but I did just finish the same five-mile route I did last week. The weather is about the same as it was last week, as it has been all week. Uh, kind of wet, kind of cold, um, and the days really do blend into one another here during our coronation. I missed the last two days vlogging, and I was going to try not to do that even if it just meant pulling random clips off the shelf. The trouble is, what happened is I've got something I'm trying to put together that might be too ambitious, and so uh, it didn't come together as quickly or as easily, or it wasn't coming together so far as well as I would like, and I just wanted to do that. I still want to do that, so I'm even, I don't even want to talk about it until it either works out or maybe what, it completely collapses. I don't know. Wonder how many of you feel the same way, um, you, you, where you have projects that you want to do them, and yet they somehow escape. And this time when a lot of us are stuck with a lot of free time on our hands, you'd think all that stuff would be easy to get done and to get right. But I'm finding for myself uh, that's not working that way. Uh, I've been out of work for several weeks now. And I've read probably less than I have in th three weeks, any three-week period for years. Um, I've got books sitting around that I want to read, that I'd like to read, and you just pick them up and you don't focus. Pernil Rip, a great teacher, just wrote a wonderful blog post about this, um, talking about how she's struggling. And we know as teachers that our kids are probably, many of our kids at least, are struggling with the same kind of issues. That's why most school districts that have gone to distance learning and remote online education are really backing off the expectations. But I worry about that too when you tell kids that you're going to only expect two hours of work a week, whether they don't wind up grasping at straws for the other 28 weeks, 28 hours a week that they might have been in school, um, and, and they wind up looking for their lowest common uh, you know, exercise of just doing nothing but watch TikToks and uh, playing video games. Um, and some of that stuff can be fine in moderation or you can get things out of it. But when that's all you do, I worry that it's like, I know studies of rats with addicted, addictive substances, they've discovered that if the rats have a lever and they can get as much of those addictive substances as they want that they will wind up very quickly addicted. Except, and I, I can't cite the source for this and I don't know if I have the ambition to look it up to put the information down in the doobly-doo, but I know that there have been studies, you take my word on this if you haven't seen this yourself, studies where when the rats were given enough alternate activities and things that they could occupy the things that could occupy their minds and entertain them really um, they didn't go for the cocaine or whatever these addictive substance they were tempting them with were and they just chose other activities and so I think it's really important as educators parents that we make sure our kids have enough to do um, so that they don't wind up with nothing but um, you know the, the least demanding activities on their time um, but I'm struggling with that myself. I'm struggling that with my own kids. Um, so we'll see. Let me know what you think about this. Um, and I will try to get something more regularly up and, and not miss more days. I will try to get back on track with Veda. <sighs> Till next time, don't forget to be awesome. And I will talk to you again, I hope, soon, hopefully.